Can you approximate the value of x? Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Approximate the value of x in this equation, x squared minus sine x equals 0, wherein x is from 0 to pi over 2. Now, if you want to try this problem, you can pause this video. You have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. Now, here's the easiest way to approximate the value of x. In this method, we will use the Taylor series expansion of sine of x. Because we know, sine of x using Taylor series, it is equivalent to x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x raised to the fifth power over 5 factorial minus x raised to the 8th power over 8 factorial and so on and so forth. So we can say that sine of x is approximately equal to x minus x cubed over 3 factorial. So we can replace the sine x with x minus x cubed over 3 factorial. Now our equation becomes x squared minus the quantity x minus x cubed over 3 factorial approximately equal to 0. Now, let's distribute this negative sign. This will give us x squared minus x plus x cubed over 3 factorial. Now, we know 3 factorial is just 6. Now, let's multiply all terms by 6. And then, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So, we have now x cubed plus 6x squared minus 6x must be approximately equal to 0. Now, let's factor out x. And then, since this is both approximately equal to 0, we can say that x is approximately equal to 0 or x squared plus 6x minus 6 is approximately equal to 0. And on the first equation, we can now say that x must be equal to 0. This is not approximately equal, but this is exactly equal to 0. Now, let's move on to the second equation, x squared plus 6x minus 6 must be approximately equal to 0. At this point, we will use quadratic formula because this is not factorable. So quadratic formula, x is approximately equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, this b is the coefficient of x, which is 6. This a, we can replace this a with 1. And this c, we can replace with negative 6. Now, let's simplify. Negative 6 is just negative 6. 6 squared is 36. Negative 4 times negative 6 is just positive 24. So we have 36 plus 24 or simply 60. Now, square root of 60 is just 4 times 15. So we can simplify this as 2 plus square root of 15. Now, let's simplify negative 6 plus or minus 2 times square root of 15, then divide this by 2. This will give us negative 3 plus or minus square root of 15. So we have two possible values for x. We have x is approximately equal to negative 3 minus square root of 15. Or x is approximately equal to negative 3 plus square root of 15. Negative 3 minus square root of 15 is approximately equal to negative 6.87 wherein negative 3 plus square root of 15 is approximately equal to 0 0.87. Now, take note that x is between 0 to pi over 2. Therefore, we have two possible values for x. We have x equals to 0 and x is approximately equal to 0 0.87. And as always, we are done.